my name is Katie and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a request for my big sister. Hi Kim Kim! She asked me to do a video specifically on how I do my brows and this comes at a perfect time because my brows are in rough shape so we need to fix them. I'm going to try to get as close as I can. can't zoom because then the quality of the video will be bad. I have to reshape my eyebrows. I don't have to do too much to them because I don't have um, too much brow hair. What I have with me is I have a spoolie, some tweezers, um, some brow scissors, and then I have a brow pencil, my brow pomade, and powder. And then I just have this. This is um, an eyeliner, but I'm going to just use this to help me. So, alright, let's just get started so this can make sense. So there are so many different ways to shape your brows. There are stencils, there are different techniques. Um, I like to use my own face to help with the shape of my brows and you can actually find a lot of other videos on YouTube as well um, but this is kind of how I do it. First thing you want to do, take your pencil. You can actually take any pencil. Um, it doesn't even have to be a brow pencil. You know what I might actually do because I did to my makeup? I have this little highlighter pencil. I think I'll use that. And what you do is take your other pencil and kind of put it against your nostril. So you're putting it where your nostril hits, like the tip of your nose, but the side of it. And you're going to kind of flip it up like this. And wherever that falls, you'll go ahead and make just a little line. And you'll do the same thing to the other side. So that lets you know, I'm just making like a little tiny mark. That lets you know where you want your eyebrows to kind of start. And then where you want them to end, take your pencil again, put it at the edge of your nostril, and use that to line it up to the corner of your eye. And you'll do another little line. And then do the same for the other side. And then for your arches, Take your pencil and line it up with the edge of your nostril again, but instead of taking it to the edge of your eye, take it to your pupil. To do this, you're going to obviously want to look straight because you're using your pupil, but basically here, this is what I'm going to do. And then make your little line. Oops. Right there. So now that I have the shapes, is what some people do is they will actually take a pencil, a brow pencil, and they'll go ahead and just like outline their entire eye and then tweeze any stray hairs that are outside that line. I don't like to have over plucked eyebrows because I don't wear makeup every day so I want to make sure my eyebrows look kind of normal so that way I can go out in public without having my eyebrows done. Um, so I don't like to over pluck, um, but you obviously don't want them to be like a hot mess, right? So I'll use this as a guideline to help me shape my brows and pluck any hairs outside of these lines. I hope that makes sense. I'm back and I wiped off the marks that I made. Another tip is when you are tweezing your eyebrows, you're concentrating very closely to your eye. On occasion, like, look away and then look at the full picture. <laughs> For me, I got, like, a little carried away with this eyebrow here and tweezed actually a little bit too much right here. And that was just because, you know, you get in the zone. You're like, oh, hair, hair, hair. And you're, like, plucking. And you're like, oh, shoot, like, half my eyebrow's gone. Now that we're done tweezing, there is still another step to help you groom. Um, what I like to do is I like to shorten my eyebrows. So how I do that is I'll take my spoolie and I'll kind of brush my eyebrow hair up and then I'll go like this. Any stray hairs that you see, take your little um, scissors and just cut. You're just giving your eyebrows a little bit of a trim to help um, just keep them kind of tame, I guess. And then you'll do that for the rest of your eyebrows and then move on to the next. But you are just move them up and any long stray hairs are at the top will get cut. I like to take the spoolie, I'll brush these up 
and then move these down. So now that your eyebrows are shaped, I like to just be very simple, easy peasy and quick with my eyebrows. I love the Benefits Browsings in the shade number four. It is my favorite. I have not found anything to replace it. It comes with a nice little mirror and inside is your pomade and your powder. And it's like $36 for this, I believe, um, but it lasts you for a long time. Also, it comes with the coolest little like brush. It comes closed like that and you just open it up. And then it also comes with a pair of tweezers. Um, these are actually a bit too short to ever use, so I don't use them. But it's cool that that is an option in case you need it. What I'll do is I'll go ahead into the pomade, go ahead and pick up some product. And I will use the pomade first to shape the outline of my eyebrow. Like so. Hopefully I'm close to the camera. And then once I've shaped the outside, oops. Once I've shaped the outside, I'll go ahead and fill in the rest of my brows with the pomade, ensuring that I move the brow hairs in the direction I want them to go. I could probably go a shade darker with um, the color of the pomade, but I just, I don't know, I like a lighter color. My older sister who requested this video I hope you're watching this and enjoying this, Kim Kim. She once threw crackers in a girl's hair for me. In high school, I had this friend that used to just lie to me all the time. And not about small things, but like really big things. I'm going to go ahead and work on my other eye with that pomade. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shape this eyebrow. But anyway, so this girl, she used to like, um, she would just lie. She told me that her mom beat her and I was super concerned. You know, obviously you're telling me that your mom beats you. My dad, he was a, a sheriff at the time and I told him and I was like, Sh her mom's beating her. There's something we should do about it. And what do we do? And he's like, make sure she's not lying. And I was like, what? That's terrible. Who would lie about that? He's like, you would be surprised. He's like, make sure she's not lying. And so I called up my friend, well, my so-called friend, and I told her, I told my dad, and she got really upset. She's like, why would you do that? I'm like, because your mom shouldn't be hitting you if she's hitting you. And so, yeah, it turns out her mom didn't hit her at all. So what you're going to do, take this side of your brush and go into that powder. Powder is going to help fill in any gaps that you have in between your hair. So I stayed friends with that girl. She told me this kid from our school went to her house to visit her. And I'm like, whoa, because that was kind of a popular kid. And she said, yeah, but he got mad at me and he punched me in the eye. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? Like, it just didn't make sense. The whole thing was just unbelievable. I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you going to do? Because when you go to school, it's going to show. Uh, no, it won't. It'll be gone. And I'm like, no, it's a bruise. It will still be there. It's only Saturday. It will show up on Monday. So now what I'm going to do is take a spoolie. I'm taking the end of the spoolie. And then I'm going to just kind of um, gently pull this through my eyebrows to help distribute and declump and just make this look much more natural okay so yeah I was like it's going to show up and she's like no I'm like you're lying to me again aren't you and she's like no I'm not and then duh of course she didn't have a, a black eye then at school on Monday so then um she decided to continue lying to me and I told her I'm like I'm I kind of don't want to be your friend anymore. I just, I don't like that you lie to me all the time. It's really annoying. And so then she was like, I'm not going to lie to you anymore. So a few months later, 
she's telling me that she's dating this kid that is actually one of my friends. And she's like, but I'm not supposed to tell anyone because he wants it to be a secret. And I'm like, yeah, right, okay. So I went to my friend, I'm like, you know, so-and-so said that you guys are secretly dating, are you? And he's like, what? No, that's crazy. And so I said, let's pretend you and I are dating. The next time my friend was like, yeah, um, so that's my boyfriend over there, but we're not supposed to say anything. Shh. And I'm like, oh, really? Because that's my boyfriend. And she's like, um, oh. Later, she went up to my friend and she goes, like, your girlfriend's a B. And he's like, don't say that about my girlfriend. I'm not even dating you. What is your problem? She called me and got really mad and she said she was going to kill me. And so I didn't take her seriously because the girl weighed like 90 pounds soaking wet. Was, I wasn't scared. I wasn't worried. But I was like really tired. It had been a long day of drama. And I remember my older sister was like, hey, what's going on? And I kind of just told her. But I like wasn't even paying attention to what I was saying because I was just really tired. And like, yeah, and she said she was going to kill me. And then I fell asleep. Like that's how much I just didn't care. And then, what do you know, the next day I'm in class the security people come and they you know ask for me and they're like come with me and I'm like what what is happening like I don't get called to the principal's office I do not get called out of class ever the security guy was actually um, a friend of one of my older brothers I'm like what's going on he's like well it has something to do with your sister but she was I don't think she's in a lot of trouble but she was just trying to protect you it turns out well, I didn't take the threat seriously of her saying she was going to kill me. My sister did. She went into the cafeteria, found the girl, and confronted her. And was like, you said you were going to kill my sister? And then she like had words to say to the girl. And apparently, you know, her friends and then some of my friends happened to be there. And they were like circling the girl. And then my sister just took like a packet of crackers that she saw on the cafeteria table, rumbled them up, put them in her hair. Yeah, but she didn't get into too much trouble because she would, I mean, someone said they were going to kill me. I'm her baby sister. How is she not going to react? Anyway, so yeah, she threw crackers in this girl's hair. <laughs> She's funny. So that's it. That's all I do for my brows. Now you can do some stuff to kind of jazz it up a little bit more. This eyebrow is looking just a little bit rough, so I'm going to lightly outline this one with a pencil to ever so lightly. I am learning to be very light-handed if I use a pencil. And then I'm going to lightly, lightly do this. And then if you are the type of person who has a lot of brow hair, what you can do is you can actually just kind of flip your brush up just a little bit and go like this or your pencil and it actually will move your brow hairs up so it looks kind of like, I don't know, it looks kind of cool. I don't have a lot of brow hair so it makes no difference but if you also are someone who doesn't have like any brow hair, um, doing that with your pencil will make it look more natural. It's very, very lightly brush through it again. So you can stop there, or if you want it to be a little bit more cleaned up, you can take a concealer and take a brush, and what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put on um, eyeshadow too, so I'm going to use the um, concealer as a base. I'm going to put this right here, just a little bit right here. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, well. And I'm going to take my brush and just... Move this all over my eyelid and up to my eyebrow so that way it'll clean it up just a little bit and make it look just a little bit more, I don't know, cleaner. <laughs> we'll just make it look a little bit cleaner. I'm using this small brush just to move the product. I'm going to use a fluffy brush to like help um, blend the concealer out, but yeah. I'm 
and you can kind of go like this and go on the outer portion of your eyebrow. I don't like to use too much concealer for this part because I don't, I don't know, I just don't like how it looks on me. But I've seen other people do it and it looks freaking awesome. So everyone's face is just different, so you have different ways of doing things. I'm going to take this fluffy brush, it's actually a shader brush, but I'm going to use this to help blend out that concealer. Because I want this to still look natural, but cleaned up. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the brows. That's all that I do personally. There's there's other ways of doing your eyebrows. If you want to see different ways, let me know. But this is how I like to do it. Um, I usually do really just the first step of just filling it in with the pomade and the powder and brushing it out and that's it. But you know, on occasions I will go ahead and do these extra steps here. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be made aware of future videos. Thank you so much and have a great day. Hi. Oh. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to... <clears throat> sort of. Kind of. Uh, uh. <sighs> okay. Harry, is that offensive? Um, so yeah. Ah, I just stabbed myself. My shapes. No, that's not what I mean. I don't know what I mean. You'll use a close. Uh, so, another tip is when you are doing your plucking. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, so now that they're shaped, mm, push side. And, um, something, um, blah, 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 also, okay, 